5G could give you the ability to download one gigabyte of high definition video in a second. But what is it? How did we get here and what are the obstacles? Is far away or lands beyond the seas? First we had 1G which only supported voice calls. 2G allowed us to use the phone to send text messages. Then 3G gave us the internet and 4G allows us to use the internet to its full capacity. So we use mobile phones every day without really realising how fast the evolution has been. The dreaming around 5G is to provide unprecedented capabilities. It will give us an immersive experience by using virtual reality or augmented reality. It actually promises to be able to control real-time things, you know, robotics in manufacturing, robotics in hospitals, uh, maybe smart city applications. And it is also going to include autonomous machine-to-machine -machine connections. Uh, that means sensors and devices will use the same technology to communicate to the network without any human interventions. 4G will end up supplementing the 5G network and it's unlikely we'll see 5G in regional areas for a long time. 5G is a big improvement in technology, so it cannot be realised in one go. So what we will see from next year in the order of 20 to 30 percent improvement beyond 2020, we will start to see the full features of 5G. Mobile phones use radio waves to communicate the information from device to your base station. 5G will explore new frequencies, look at use of millimeter wave frequencies starting anywhere from 28 gigahertz all the way to 300 gigahertz. Those frequencies don't travel very far or easily through obstacles such as buildings or trees, even heavy rain. So when we use those frequencies, we will have to design very small cells very close to each user concentration. So these frequencies will offer a very high bandwidth, but the network has to be redesigned to take advantage of those capabilities. So 5G will introduce smaller base stations scattered throughout our neighborhoods. Uh, that would be on the light poles, that would be on the facades of the buildings. Each base station will cover maybe about 300 meters of radius or even smaller than that. Then it is going to use an array of antenna formed in a configuration known as NEMO. By using this antenna technology, can also give you an ability to direct very sharp beams of radio waves towards different users. Australia's uh, investment in NBN policy is helping us to develop a significant capability in networking infrastructure. And it may actually provide a different business model for us to think about how 5G may be deployed in Australia. Countries like Japan, China and Korea have been leading the way in developing 5G. But there are some things we need to consider. We will use more immersive experience, augmented reality and virtual reality. That means there will be a lot more about our surroundings will be captured in our network interactions over 5G. We need to ensure the privacy, ethical principles of how these data surrounding specific users are managed in the network.